Hello, good morning, my name's Eric Schmiel. This last weekend was the RVA Street Art Festival, one of my favorite events that happens in the city each year. Once a year, a whole bunch of artists get together, they go to one spot, and they just fill that area with murals. It's amazing. It, you can walk through it and just be surrounded by art. And I, one of the reasons why I love it so much is that murals are one of my favorite forms of art. And it, it got me thinking about it. I, I want to talk to you all a little bit about why that is. So, welcome to your morning schmeal. It's your morning schmeal, boo do 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 Good day! Yeah! I like my paintings huge. I like them large. I like them taking up the size of a wall. I like a sense of scale, and I like to feel like they're going to engulf me. I like the presence there. And I think that's largely a consequence of the current era. Because in this digital age, we have access to so much art. Right on our phones, right on our computers. In this small phone screen, I can see all the works of the old masters. I can see the most cutting edge stuff that's out there. I can see fan art. I can see all kinds of things. An endless supply of art. More than I could ever possibly consume in a lifetime. And if I can see so much from home, it does beg the question of why should I ever bother going to see art in person? And murals provide an answer to that question. Large paintings provide an answer to that question. Because the thing about my phone screen is, it's small. And although I can see a, a recreation of a mural on my phone, although I can see the actual image itself, by having such a large, I guess, physicality to the actual thing, it, it creates a kind of experience that your phone just can't replicate. And that is just the sheer scale of it, the sheer size of it. Presence is the key word. You can't replicate that feeling of being dwarfed by a mural the size of a wall by scrolling through your phone. It's something that demands to be experienced in person, and it will always fall short of that unless you're there standing before it. Other paintings, smaller paintings, it, the difference isn't that huge. I mean, you can get a closer examination of the brush strokes, I suppose. But there's a raw physicality to, to murals and to just large-scale paintings in general that it gives me a reason to see them. Of course, it's not just the scale, it's the way it kind of weaves into your environment. Um, they become landmarks in our communities. They speak to the spirit of a place. They help define the, the soul of a neighborhood. I kind of thought the baseball diamond was a, a bit of an odd choice uh, for, the, for the project. It's a little tucked away, it's a little isolated. Um, I mean... The, the diamond is, of course, a kind of a, a landmark in the city, but to actually get in there and actually see the murals themselves, you kind of have to go out of your way. And I, I guess in the future, you're just going to have to buy a baseball ticket. I don't really see a lot of baseball games myself. But while walking through there this weekend at the festival, the interesting thing about the, the diamond is, architecturally, it's... Very interesting, I guess, just the visual of it. Um, somehow, the, the whole place is essentially just one long hallway and still manages to feel like a maze. Just because the unusual way all the, the lines and shapes of the building just kind of... I don't know. It's got a hell of a silhouette. And to populate such a strange-looking place with all this art, it, it just works with it in an interesting way. And by having the mark of the city's citizens all over it, it claims the baseball diamond in a more direct way. I mean, so I'm glad to see more murals. I like seeing murals. And I'm glad we have a designated process to help propagate them in our town. It gives you a reason to go places, right? It makes art real in a way, and not just some 
image on your screen. I'll be looking forward to next year. Hey, so what do you guys think of murals? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you want to see uh, more of this stuff, why don't you check out last week's uh, video where I talk about how uh, part of the magic of the world is the mystery in it. And as you get older, there's just less mystery because you, you know it better. Um, and if you want to see some more Richmond stuff, I made a video about the Bird Theater back when I first got a video editor. That's kind of cool. It's right there if you want to check it out. And um, if you want to see more of this stuff and keep hanging out with me on the internet, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you next Monday.